So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at A to 1, Banshee, Xur, and Eververse in that order so that way you guys are aware of what is going away for the week. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help. I also do apologize that I didn't do a Tuesday or Wednesday video usually uh, just because uh, I honestly forgot and there's just so much content that I was working on that I just kind of fell off. So I do apologize, but usually the last, last call video is pretty consistent. So... This is the one where you usually want to look at because we look at more than just A to 1 and Banshu. Actually, we don't even look at Banshu yet in the weekly. We just look at A to 1 and Eververse. So let's just get into it. So before we look at A to 1, let's look at the fit for the video. So I ended up getting uh, the new exotic uh, rel relativism. relativism? Uh, I got Spirit of Galanor and Spirit of Girl Falcon, which is a lot of fun. And for the fit, I have the Dragonfly Regalia, Anthemic Invocation Vembraces, the Megalomorph Vest, and then the Aphotic Limilar Strides. This is what I came up with because, uh, spiky? Um, obviously there's spikes up here, there's this weird thing here. So I was like, the arms are going to be really cool because they're going to be spiky. Boots are going to be cool because they're spiky as well. The Megalomorph is just because it's, uh, like, anatomical, which is why I wanted to use it. And... Honestly, the dragonfly, uh, the dragonfly regalia mask is like the only one where I'm like, I don't know. There's other pieces you can definitely be using. Um, Polar predator is something I was thinking about using. Uh, even this one's decent enough, but uh, I think athletic was a good one as well. But there's there's definitely a lot of ones that you could be using for the helmet. I know there's someone who made a, a similar set with the white wolf cow and the arms. So, and the shader is completely different. Uh, I think I saw that in, um, in, uh, what's his name? Uh, Crypts is, Crypts is a Discord, which looked really, really cool. And honestly, I would probably switch out the helmet for something else, if I'm being quite honest. I wish Mask of the Taken King didn't take the yellow color, because I would probably choose that. But Veil Tithe's Mask would probably be the one that I would choose, because just because it's really cool. So... That is pretty much it for the fit for the video. Actually, the Maria's Dream Shader is what we're using just because I like the color of it. And it goes well with this because uh, if you guys don't know, uh, yeah, there's like blue and purple in there. So another great color would probably be this one right here. Yeah, this one would be really cool as well just because uh, uh, Dreaming Spectrum has like this similar coloring. So actually, this one would probably be the best if I'm being quite honest. I was thinking about this one as well, but I was like, eh, I don't feel like looking like a shark right now. But, yeah, there's definitely some cool things you can be using for this. I just don't know which one. Like, if you if you do a green coloring, you can do this one, which would be really cool. I'd probably do um, this one, Lucid. Lucid would be pretty cool. And then, at that point, if I'm using Lucid, I could definitely switch back to this one right here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Just be aware that you, the purple is going to be in there. So if you don't like that, definitely switch it out for something else. So let's look at A to 1 because I didn't look at her last or this week. Gold leaf for the shadering. This doesn't look bad, actually. This looks pretty decent, like genuinely. And because I'm using so many good pieces, uh, the off color is going to be this white. But the chest piece has that and the arms have that as well. So it's not going to look super out of place. Uh, Tangled Rust, also a really good shader. Definitely pick it up if you want to go have like a really like fucked up look. And I don't mean fucked up in the sense like uh, it just looks worn. That's like my best thing. It's like it looks worn, which I know a lot of people like because it actually looks like you're in like you're in universe. Dead Orbit Camo, which is the yeah, it's the I'm not the biggest fan of this color or shader, but I definitely would still recommend it just in case, just because it, it's it's a really good shader if you want to go for like a tactical look. And then for the armor, it's all right here. So armor wise, I'm going to be pretty short because I've talked about this armor in length. Uh, helmet for the hunters is pretty cool. I like the cloak a lot. The arms are pretty decent. The boots are pretty decent. The chest piece and actually the chest piece is the only terrible part if I'm being quite honest. Tight ends, I like the helmet a lot. The chest piece is pretty cool. The arms are growing on me. The boots are decent and the mark is the only thing I'm like, I don't really care for it and then warlocks i'm gonna be honest 
the cloak is cool the helmet is unique but at the same time it's not the best in the world and the arms and boots are very generic but that but the the good thing about that because they're generic you can use them on a lot of pieces and the bond is probably a cool part so let me know what you guys think about the armor sets in the comments below as for the weapons, we have Chrysera Mellow with Dynamic Sway Reduction and Thresh. We have True Prophecy with Grave Robber and Time Payload. The Vision with Fully Auto Trigger System Disruption Break. Far Future with Moving Target and Wellspring. And then Temptations Hook with Tireless Blade and Flash Counter. So I don't recommend a lot of these. Um, definitely not the Vision because Full Auto Trigger System is just basically a useless perk now because full, we already have that ingrained in the, in the game now so this is basically just giving you one perk and yeah i really don't recommend any of these they're all pretty terrible so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from banshee but i'm going to be honest i don't think there's anything worth picking up at least here so just a quick reminder that Zer is here now he doesn't he's not random anymore he's always going to be in the tower which is super cool um and for oh wow so Polaris Lance Catalyst, I definitely recommend people to pick this one up. It's a lot of fun. Um, Yotun, I still haven't even fin finished this, but I assume it's cool. Stompies with some decent rolls. Peregrines with very high mobility. Same thing with Skull of Daira Ahamkara. So where is, is it this one? No, it's not this one. It's this one. So for the exotics, other ones I should say is Hawkmoon with Eye of the Storm. Monte Carlo with obviously Markov Chain, which definitely would recommend this if you're going for a melee build. It's one of my favorite weapons. And you can finally use this fucking bayonet. It's super dope. Uh, Prometheus Lens and then Wardcliffe Coil. For the weapons, we have Seven Seraph with full auto trigger system and surrounded, which is completely useless. More so because of the fully auto trigger system. Death Adder with dynamic sway reduction and quick draw. Ignition code with quick draw and, and Vorpal weapon. I would say that's decent. Soul Survivor with rapid hit and Vorpal. Mm. Man, that is unfortunate. If this was range, I would. I, that really doesn't matter, I think, because uh, it's a adaptive frames. So I don't know. I I definitely like Soul Survivor, especially with the ornament. It looks really cool. It's it's one of those like pick your poison like do you want this or not? I definitely would like I think I have this already so I'm not gonna pick it up but just in case. Seven Seraph Saw with field prep and elemental capacitor, memory inter interdict interdict with quick draw and chain reaction, and then quick fang with tireless blade and on guard. So I would just recommend this one honestly. Uh there is no red border weapons in these and ignition code is decent. I think I have a better one in the vault. But it's it's rough because I'm like it. I really like the handling. I mean, you already have quick draw, so yeah. I don't know. I'll I'll see if I have a better one, but I definitely would recommend ignition code. It's just such a nice grenade launcher. As for the armor, it's gonna be the substitutional alloy armor, which is the season of the undying seasonal armor, specifically not the season, not the seasonal ornaments that's completely different this is the seasonal activity armor which you need to know the difference um i like this armor so hunters i like the helmet helmet's really cool because it doesn't have that moss other than that every other piece has that moss but i should note that the cloak is actually really cool i've seen people do some really cool things with it hunt titans helmet doesn't have moss either i'm not the biggest fan of the shape of it it looks kind of goofy but it's still there everything else is gonna have that moss um yeah i'm not the biggest fan of that moss that being said we do have a shade of that is mossy now so that is pretty cool helmet for the warlocks is really cool i think the arms are decent but it does still have moss um everything has moss except the helmets essentially so i'm not gonna really talk about all these because it has moss and i really don't like him which is why i don't use a lot of these pieces but if you guys do like them let me know in the comments below let me know which pieces are you, you're gonna be picking up like i said i'm not the biggest fan of this armor just because of that moss but i'm not gonna say it's trash just because i've seen people do some cool things with it so that's pretty much it for zero let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up i so i, I got i got shit for basically complaining about the fact that we got our 
we got our currency taken away so that way Zer can just have a new currency, which for some reason the person who commented that thought I was just bitching about Zer in total. No, I love Zer. Zer's changes are amazing and I will never say they're bad because we have a new rank system, which is super cool. We have multivarious strange offers, which is really cool because it's on top of just the regular stuff that he would do. Plus we have the strange or the strange weapon engram, the strange armor engram. Like there's just so many cool things about Zer. But for some reason that person thought I was just bitching about Zer in total. It was more but about just the currency, which I still stand by that. I don't like that the, the fact that they essentially took out legendary shards just to put in strange coins in here so that's just annoying but that being said i mean what else are they gonna do are they gonna be for glimmer i don't think so i don't know it's it's a it's a rough thing to like really be annoyed about because on one hand i love the zerg changes it's just the the currency change honestly that's just the biggest annoyance that i have with zer right now but and it's not even his fault it's more just bungee so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Zer. As for Eververse, let's go to the orbit real quick because the game's going to be messing up for other things. So Eververse. Oh, also, I will be making a, a video for the Season of Arrivals or ornaments, which they are on sale. Um, Yeah, I've already reviewed the armor, but I'm going to do it again because <laughs> it's... Season of Arrivals was a long time ago now, now that I think about it. And there's definitely going to be people that don't know that this is on sale because, quite frankly, the only reason I had a feeling this was happening was because during the week, during the beginning of this week, I saw a flicker of this and immediately was like, okay, I should probably get started on that. But I couldn't find it in the store. So I was like, maybe I'm just fucking seeing things. But no, we definitely can get this armor again, which. I definitely recommend, especially the arms for the hunters. Um, I'll again, I'll go through all of it again for you guys. This is gonna be a fun video to make. Uh, so the shaders, time honored, is the first one we're gonna be looking at, which is pretty decent. I definitely would recommend this one. We have a blaze, which I a thousand percent recommend this one. This is such a good shader, especially if you're going for a solar build. It's gonna be really cool with that. We have unspun fate. And then for the intrepid discovery stuff, it's the chess piece this time, which I definitely rec recommend for everyone. The chess piece is really cool for the war for the warlocks, hunters, and titans. All of them got some really good chess pieces, and I, I'm a little mad because I really should have done the intrepid discovery stuff. But again, I've been working on so much other content that I'm not really that mad because I've been working on content. It's not like I've been lazy and not doing anything, and we're still gonna be doing this one. Don't worry. Uh, thinking a headache. We have stuff at the bottom. So space time weft for the Leviathan's breath, which I'm still thinking about getting. I don't know if I'm going to use this that much because I already have two ornaments for this bitch. And I'm like, I don't know. It's rough because I definitely do use this a lot for hunters, but we'll see. A uh, rove shell, which I know some people are going to like this one. It's not bad. I think it's cute, but I, yeah, that's the only thing that's like, it's cute, but I definitely wouldn't use it. Uh, Terran sidecar. Oh, this is extra, bro. Does the wood change color? I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, Prometheus OSP. This is a cool ship, man. Too bad I have a ship that I'm never changing. We have crab core. Spray and pray. Do I have this one? I don't have that. How much is it? No. Uh, for the transmit effects, we have Virtuous Entrance. We have Dark Blade effects. We have only the finest. And then for the shaders at the bottom, we have Cursed Azure, which I would recommend this one. This is from Season of the Plunder, so this is a while ago, but it's a cool shader. We have Reefer Gali, another cool shader. Damn, it does look good with this, though, for real. Uh, welded brass, which is a shader I would recommend a thousand percent for people. It's a, such a good shader, especially if you want to get like a deep, rich purple glow. This is going to be the shader you want because it's like one of the deepest purples I've seen. And then Celestial Dome, which 
This doesn't look bad, actually. This looks pretty decent. Wow. So yeah, I definitely would recommend like all of them. Just I, I always recommend shaders just because you might never know when a dope shader comes up when you're making armor. It just it feels so good to find a shader and be like, oh shit, this looks dope. So let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up. All right, so this is the end of the video. If you guys want to leave, definitely leave. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. But I'm gonna be talking about a few things. So first and foremost. I'm gonna be making this video probably soon. Warlocks, you guys are finishing up the um, the untethered edge sets tomorrow. So yeah, this video should be coming up today, which is Sunday. Um, tomorrow, uh, you get uh, Warlocks. You all, you guys will get your last video for that for the, the untethered edge stuff uh, stuff, and then we'll probably get started on this armor. And then I'm still probably going to do the Intrepid Discovery Vest or intre Intrepid Discovery stuff for everything. Just because if you guys have been picking up this armor, then you guys definitely want to see. I, well, I don't know. Either we'll do the individual piece, uh, individual class sets, or we'll do everything. The review plus the shader plus. It's just hard because like now, now that it's the chest piece, I think it's like only two more pieces maybe. And then that's it. I think it's one actually. So that's kind of my fault. I really should have done it from the get go once I saw they were selling this armor. But again, it's just with the with the release of the last expansion, I was just kind of bit trying to get into the meat of the expansion as fast as I could. This one, honestly, it's probably going to be this one that we're going to be doing next and then this one or probably both at the same time. And then I'm not really too worried about the D&D armor just because a I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've said this multiple times. I don't like it um, for all the classes. Uh, I can see myself using it for the Titans just because I've seen some cool sets that I that I that other people have done and I'm like getting inspired to make some of them. Hunters, I can definitely see some pieces that are going to be useful and Warlocks. Chess pieces are going to be super cool and then boots maybe, arms maybe, but the helmet and the bond look pretty terrible. So. Yeah, expect me to make the DND armor set. I still have a lot of armor to go through, <laughs> considering we're going to be doing the Siege Breaker DND armor, and then the uh, the Intrepid stuff. Plus, we're not even getting into the other armor that I still haven't done. Specifically, the playlist armor that we got for this season. We did get some new armor, and I will be talking about it. Unfortunately, we didn't get any Iron Banner armor. I really wish we did because that would have been super dope. But this armor is what I'm talking about. What I'm going to be doing is hunters are going to be getting the PvP armor, Titans are going to be getting the Vanguard armor, and then Warlocks are going to be getting the Gambit armor. So that's the way I decided to do it. So that way you guys can see the differences, even though I know some people are going to be like, I want to see all of the armor. And I'm going to be like, no, because that's just going to take too long. Um, I still, this is the one thing I hate about myself is the fact that I never reviewed the trials of osiris armor to be fair i'm not a big fan of trials uh if i'm doing it by myself just because it's it's a very small reason honestly it's the fact that like once i start doing trials i won't stop doing it and it's the thing that sucks about it is that like this takes forever to level up especially if you're in a losing streak it takes forever to level up and i don't know about now but when I was like leveling it, leveling it up, it usually meant that by the end of some matches, you didn't get anything. And that's kind of like the worst feeling about it. So Trials of Osiris, sorry for not doing the reviews for those. If, if and when they actually make it where I can actually get stuff from um, match ends, like mat ending matches where, oh, you lost or won, here's like some armor or weapons and whatnot, then I'll probably do it. But in the meantime, <clears throat> I probably won't. But again, if they do add a change where, oh, now after it, after the matches, you might get something or you are guaranteed something. And if I start getting my armor a lot faster, then I will start just doing all of the reviews that I've never done for the trials. So hopefully Bungie, Bungie does change that. Or if they did, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, all of this just to say I have so much content that I'm still going through, which I love and hate because I love that I have content to make for you guys. But I hate it because I want to play other things. I want to do other things. Like specifically, I want to play uh, Elden Ring. Um, not the DLC. I just want to finish the the game and then go to the DLC. 
I want to play some old stuff as well, like some of the old Dark Souls, specifically Dark Souls one and two. I want to play those again. Uh, like just all of the all of the from software games. I just want to play them again because I haven't played them in a long time. And <clears throat> yeah, I just <clears throat> there's a lot of things I want to do. It's just such little time. So let me know what you guys are going to be. Oh, I forgot to say the exotic videos. So the exotic videos. Hold on. I'm already I'm, work, I'm working on the gift of conviction right now and then we're going to be doing the boots and then after the hunters are done we're going to be doing the titans and then warlocks and then after that we're going to be doing the class items because I don't have him for the titans or warlocks so we'll do the new exotics first and then we'll do the new class items to last so that way uh, I give myself more time to get it for the titans and warlocks but yeah i i really like that mission i probably will record it so that way i can just have it on the channel because i really really like that uh mission we'll most likely do it for the titans and then warlocks maybe hunters we'll see but yeah just a lot of content appreciate y'all coming up to this point be safe i'll see you guys later